let's talk some Jets, man. I got my boy, man. This is me and this dude argue like fucking three, four times a week, man, relentlessly, man. You know what I'm saying about Jets, Giants, up, fucking Bill, Bill Belichick, Tom Brady. That's like, yo, we, I've got, yo, me and this nigga has gotten into fist fights over Rakim and Karras one. Fucking thirty years ago, like this is, this is, this is, this is, I'm being serious. This is this is my guy. We've had every battle. He, he's my brother, man, and he's a super knowledgeable Jets fan. He's gonna be our resident Jets analyst from now on. Uh, it's my boy Lawrence Phillips. What's going on? How are you feeling? What up, fam? I love I love oh, this scary, this scary. You know, this show, man. Congratulations. Thank you. My I'm glad to be you here. Know, you can hear me good? Yeah, 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 got yeah, you real yeah, good, man. I got, I got the damn, I got the fucking Android phone, so bear with me. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get you. <laughs> Yo, that's yeah, a good you, phone. Q, Q not laughing, Q got one too. <laughs> that's a good phone, bro. What are you talking about, son? That's a good phone. Yo, listen, we were talking Giants, man. I know you was listening. Say to the Giants, let's talk Jets, man. Like, let's start like this, right? Jets, a little bit of ray of hope last week. Zach Wilson looked good, right? It looked like uh, uh, Nate Hackett opened up the play- Nathaniel Hackett opened up the playbook a little bit. Let me ask you this: Was that fool's goal with Zach, or is that what we're going to see more of for- moving forward? In your opinion, that that is hard to say. That's mm-hmm. up to Zach. Because mm-hmm. last week I was with Joe Namath, I was with everybody. Like I was with with Greenberg. I was like, Nah, no more, no more Zach. Yeah. I'm tired of this. This is year three. Yeah, where's the progress? Yeah, Mm-hmm. You're not yeah. telling them to go out there and be like like um Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But go out there and show why you was number two. Show your talent. Show that arm. Move your legs. He went yeah. out there gun shy. Since he's been on the team, he's been gun shy. He's just afraid mm-hmm. to make a mistake, which shows you that he doesn't have the confidence. You know, yeah. he doesn't yeah. feel worthy. He's a number two pick. I mean, yeah. come on, go out there and show it. So he didn't show it all of the Kansas City game. Let's not get it, get it twisted. He started off shaky. Mm-hmm. It wasn't until Kansas City was up. Maybe Kansas City started lacking later. Maybe whatever. But let's just hope. Let's just hope he continues it. But, you know, the, the problems the Jets have, it ain't as complicated as the Giants. It's Zach and it's the offensive line. Mm-hmm. Right. And, you know, who's responsible for that? Is it Joe Douglas? Is it Hackett? It is, is it Saleh? It starts up front, though. It starts with the offensive line. You see, Giants got that problem. The Jets have that problem too. What? What? Okay. So, what do you see? Okay. So, this is a big revenge game, right? Every every Jets fan and even the Jets themselves have circled this on their calendar since the beginning of the year. You know, the future, oh, the maybe Broncos. future Hall of Borderline Hall of Fame coach Sean Payton talking super reckless in the beginning of the season about Nathaniel Hackett broke the brother uh, the brotherhood and and, and yeah. the oath of coaching yeah. by speaking out against other other coaches. Yeah. What do you foresee in this game against the Broncos, man? Broncos, even though they have, you know, the way, as far as them being ranked, they, they, I think they're like thirty second in defense this year. Yeah, they went in three. They got some yeah. some players. Come, they got some good pl- defensive players coming back. I don't think the Broncos' defense is as bad as everyone thinks it is. I don't think it's good, but I don't think it's as bad as everyone thinks it is. What do you foresee this week with the Jets and the Broncos, in, in your opinion? I don't know what the problem is with the Broncos. Yeah, but. So far this year, I mean, they were getting whipped by Chicago also. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, they were playing against Miami, though. then turn around and they were getting. Russell's not the problem. Russell's not the problem right now. Though. He, he's not the problem. Playing, he's, he's, not, he's playing decent ball. He's playing decent ball right now. Not, not, he's not he the problem. Nine touchdowns, two interceptions. He's, he's, doing, he's doing pretty well. Yeah. He's not the problem. Maybe the problem is because they think Sean Payton going to come in and everything's just going to be full like magic. You still got to put in the work. They also lost players. You know, they had Von Miller in the past. They don't have him. Mm-hmm. They, they they got rid of Chubb and he went to Miami. A lot yeah. of players left too. Mm-hmm. So if I'm the Jets, yo, this is a game where I don't even just want to win. I want to stomp them out because of what Sean Payton said about yeah. Hackett. I, used to, I loved Sean Payton. Mm-hmm. I like yeah. Sean Payton. After yeah. he said that, I was like, nah, yeah. fuck this mm-hmm. nigga. Yeah, no, no, you don't call out niggas like it. that. No, you don't yeah. call out. When you point fingers, there's three fingers pointing back at you. Shut yeah, the fuck yeah, up, Sean. Yeah, 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 Mind yeah, me yeah. of, I always bring, always bring the hip-hop similarities to this. It kind of mm-hmm. reminds me of when Nas called out Cam and Nori and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. He's mm-hmm. he's right. But still, look at yourself, though. Worry mm-hmm. about yourself. Don't worry about other people. Yeah, what are you worrying about? Weakness. Yeah, 
he going to say that and look at look where the team's at. You're going to say Hackening do a good job. Look where your team is at right now. Mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. about to get stomped out of Jets and the Jets are <laughs> one and three. Yeah, work. So work. Hopefully, I mean, yo, if the Jets think, if the Jets don't do it this Sunday, I I they don't deserve to go nowhere. That's it. No. Yeah. They got too much talent. They got too much talent. They got sk- players at every skill position. I mean, yeah, this I is what boy. they did all off season. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. Now, Aaron Rodgers now, is supposed now. to be the le- yeah get yeah. no 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 you finished your saying sorry no I'm saying Aaron no. Rodgers is supposed to be the final piece but obviously he wasn't I mean the offensive line got problems Joe Douglas came in in 2019 saying he was going to fix this line and he still got problems going into the year and that's mm-hmm. probably what got Aaron Rodgers knocked out I mean if they don't yeah. win this game it's probably because of the offensive line. Yeah, that's it. So, so, so now, that. like, and in my opinion, like, I think, I think the Jets kind of held on to Zach Wilson a little bit too long. I think they were just feeling like he's the number two pick, man. They don't want to look like they were stupid and wasted it, but you know, they had mm-hmm. hopes. But now, if you guys come into this Broncos game, now, do you think week five that, uh, Trevor Simeon's gonna start. Like, what, what do you think? What, what do you think their mm-hmm. next course of action is? You think they're just gonna keep starting Zach Wilson and just ride this wave out? You mean if he plays bad against the Broncos? But yeah, I, I, I do. I, hold if on. He, I, I, I want to chime in real quick on, on Zach. I feel like he he probably gonna come in a little a little strong, a little better in this game against the Broncos because not for nothing he did outshine Patrick Mahomes. In this in this past game, I'm not saying he's better than Patrick Mahomes because I was I was one of the people. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, I'm done with Zach. He's just yeah. not the guy. But he played great. He played different this game. He he he's the first yeah. quarterback to outshine Patrick Mahomes since Patrick Mahomes started. He threw more yards, more completions, more touchdowns, less yeah. less intros, and a higher a higher rating. So you know, kudos, yeah. shout outs to to Zach for that. You know, he came in and and there was a lot of bullshit in that game. We were talking about it in the thread earlier. We was kind of getting spicy yeah. in our in our thread. You know, I feel like they kind of like. You know they saw the Jets getting the momentum and shit like yeah. that, and they were calling bullshit calls. That bullshit hold call against yeah, Sauce. Yeah, 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 that, yeah. that yeah, like clearly one of the defensive linemen yeah. from the Jets. I forgot who he was. He was yo blatantly on live Jermaine, TV. Jermaine, Jermaine Johnson. Johnson. Yeah, yeah, Jermaine Johnson. You see him. Jermaine getting, Johnson. He was getting held, bro. He was getting held <laughs> yeah, like a like a newborn baby, bro. I was yeah. like, what are you doing, refs? Like a the blind refs. guy would have seen that. Exactly. Amen to that. So I'm like. I feel like Zach Zach probably gained a little bit of confidence in this game, and you can see that he's finally matured and he's holding himself accountable compared to last year where he threw the defense under the bus and didn't hold himself accountable. You can see this this game around. He's like, damn, I I lost this game. But, but you know, give, give, give it Daniel, on nobody. Give 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 um give um Hackett a little bit of credit, man, because mm-hmm. you know he's got Gibson in there, McCall Hardman, uh, um Jeremy Ruckert. He, you know he's opening up the playbook. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know you can see he opened up the playbook. He's not he's not dumping shit off to the flats and checking down and fucking yeah. running for his life. He let the um, guys run. He let he let Brees Hall run. He gave a he couple of handoffs to Cook too. Lars, me and you talked about yeah. this, man. Dwayne Brown, you you were and you were you were one of the first people I heard say this, man. You were down on Dwayne Brown from the beginning of the year, man. He gets hurt. They Cause, move cause, fucking Makai Becton over the left. Makai Becton originally on the left. He trained mm-hmm. for the right. Then they moved mm-hmm. him back over to the left. I mean, how how instrumental was you know was that whole with the, with the offensive the, line? It, the, this is the problem with with the Jets. Joe Douglas seemed very stubborn to make yeah. a move. Yeah. He wants to stick with everybody he brings in. He want to stick with them, mm-hmm. stick with us. Nah, you got to be disciplined. They saying mm-hmm. how a lot of successful regimes move. They as soon as you fuck up, you out of it. Next man up. Yes. He waited too long. He waited too long, and you saw what happened. I said, yo, let's shuffle the line. Let's get LVT out to the right. Mm-hmm. Let's get Beckton yeah, yeah. to the left. Not that Beckton is a great pass rusher. He's a great yeah. run blocker, especially run blocker, with the yeah. zone running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at least that worked last week. And let's yeah, see if yeah. Hacker could do it again this week. But you and know, work to Zach surprise too, because yeah. you know we talked about this earlier, Lawrence. You have like offensive line is like a rhythm thing. You have it's a chemistry thing. You yeah. have to be able to you yeah. know you have to, you, it, it takes time to gel and, and play off each other. Yep. You know how everyone moves, man. Yep. Yeah. So by moving back into the left. He's been on the right side of you. It's not that easy. It's not like you mm-hmm. can just interchange them right away. They'll tell you all the exactly. time, like off linemen don't want to be moved. Like a, a, a right tackle don't mm-hmm. always want to move to the left. Mm-hmm. And, uh, mm-hmm. They always want. They don't want to move sides. And then Vera Tucker coming over to the right. So give them a lot of credit Ex- for being exactly. able to, to put that together so quickly. Yeah, man. Being professional. It's, it's probably why Zach fumbled late in that game. 
Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, with all the yeah, line yeah. shifting and all that stuff, all the thinking, yeah. it's not fair to him to tell you the truth. Yeah. You got to be yeah, yeah. more settled at this point. If you're going into the season saying you're going to be a tra- championship team, this should yeah. be last of your problems. You should have the offensive line settled. Yes. You know what I'm saying? But yes. you know, he brought up a good point about Zach outplaying Mahomes. Mm-hmm. I saw that yeah. stat. No team, no player, no quarterback, no uh, quarterback. I played mm-hmm. him in college and professional. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. He's crazy. like he's like now he's like one forty two and old type shit when it comes to that stat or that something was like that. Crazy. That's yeah. That's a testament to Mahomes though. That's crazy. Yeah. Did Mahomes have <laughs> a, a crazy stat? Now, what now, was, was it? Was it the defensive scheme or was it just Mahomes having a bad game? In your opinion, mm. they were already up seventeen to three, so it's hard to say. You know what I'm saying? Did they change the the philosophy? Did they say let's just back up? You know, play with the clock now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And then on the same token, Jets they probably forgot Jets got off. You know, explosive players yeah. like Hall, Wilson, whatever. And then Rucker came out of nowhere. Rucker came. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Strong I Island. I want to see more Rucker. I want to see up. more of my Long Island dude yeah, right there. He's a Rucker too. Up. That's he's a, a big rugged dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he's good in the run blocking. He's good in the run blocking, yeah. So that might have surprised Kansas City too. Mm-hmm. So, hey, if the, what? you know, let's build on it. Hell yeah, that's that's what I want. I just want them to build on it. Like, like I said, yeah. I was I was one of the people that I'm like I'm like you, Larry. I was just I was I was done with Zach, but like you know now he gave me a little bit of confidence. He gave me a little bit of confidence. Yeah. Maybe he could work himself better. You know, a little bit maturity. Maybe he could work on this, and maybe he could come in the next game against the Broncos. Since it's a big game in the calendar, and it could probably be a game. Ch- I won't say it will be a game changer for the season, but at least for the morale of the team, because that's the most important thing—the morale of the team moving forward. Because that's what yeah. They but need. the only <clears throat> see, but the only thing about that, and and because that's when, and that and that's what's unfortunate too, because you you build these teams, you build these, especially that type of Jet team, man. You build that team for now. You got to think about because Aaron mm-hmm. Rodgers is going to get a year old the next year. Mm-hmm. Uh, Makai Beckton, all these other, there's only going to be a couple of players that are still going to be in their youthful ages, man. But, yeah. you know, you might not have the same output, mm-hmm. you know, for the next two, three years, man. And then now that you have this person, you know, Zach Wilson taking over the team and you hoping that he was going to get you to at least somewhere close mm-hmm. to hopefully get yeah. you to where you need to be, but not. You know, like, cause that th- th- this is a business, and these players, their jobs is up for grabs. But for some reason, yep. his doesn't seem like it is. Yeah. Seems like Zach, no matter how fucking yo Zach, yo Zach Wilson is like a like 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 a chick in a relationship who likes to get beat the fuck up and doesn't want to leave her boyfriend. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> no, he's just he's just <laughs> always <laughs> you know what I mean? like yeah, cause, yeah, but it, that's because Douglas, that's Douglas pick, yeah. and you know if he fails yeah. with that pick, yeah. that's a really bad. That's a really yeah, bad yeah, thing yeah. on his resume. And that's like you know two, in a, that's two in a row. Two in a row. I know. I know. So um, he, uh, what's, what's the guy before him that went to? Sam now? Donald. Sam, Sam Donald. On, he's yeah, on Sam San Francisco Donald. now, right? Yeah. No, he, I know he wasn't right, Douglas yeah. Pick, but still, no, that's two. two that wasn't top, Douglas Pick. Right, but still, it's two fucking um, number, top five draft pick quarterbacks in a row, and they're Ooh. busting. It can't yeah. happen, man. Yeah. This is what I want to say about Zach Wilson real quick, though. You know, could it be an outlier the way he played last week? It very well could be. But I will say this. I know me. When I don't play basketball for a while, right, I lose confidence, right? And I know my skills might be good, but I don't play well because that confidence ain't there. But when I have that confidence, it's like my play goes up another. It's not even – it's not It's not always skills. It's that – like you can't be good without confidence, man. So mm-hmm. hopefully this put a little bit of confidence in him. I know Aaron Rodgers yes. is in the building. Mm-hmm. Aaron Rodgers might have settled him down. We don't know. Maybe Aaron took him to the side and said, listen, young blood. Let's calm down. Well, to all them niggas, to all them niggas, because you seen um Cobb and Lazar came over to him on the sidelines, and it was like consoling him and everything. A couple mm-hmm. of weeks ago, everyone—I mean, last year, everyone was shitting on Zach when he. Yo, Michael him, right? Carter. Maybe, Michael well, Carter was shitting on him. He Michael, the third string. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe, yeah. maybe, hold on, maybe, Aaron, maybe Aaron Rodgers told everyone, "Yo, back the fuck off, the nigga. Mm-hmm. Let the nigga get his shit off." He had a decent no. game. He making some good throws. We know he has a tool. Maybe his confidence is high now, and maybe that translates into building on stuff. That, I yes. don't know. You know what I mean? Yes. You know, you know what else too? Huh. Aaron Rodgers told him to take off that fucking headband. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's you're not Jim McMahon. Yeah. You're not Jim McMahon. Yeah, from the Bears, he told yeah, him to take yeah, off the yeah, headband. Yeah, yeah, Zach Wilson yeah. looked different on the sideline. Yeah, Zach yeah, Wilson yeah. looked different. He he didn't. He no yeah. longer last week. He didn't have that goofy smile. Yeah, he looked yeah, serious. Yeah. He looked like a grown yeah, person. Yeah, yeah. Remember, he was yeah, very yeah. young when he was drafted. Yeah, 
yes, he looked yes. gr- he looked grown and serious last week. Hopefully yeah, that's yeah. just not my damn imagination and it no, carries no, no. on. We have to wait and what, see. But you say that and I get goosebumps because I saw the same thing too. You could see the maturity in his face. Yeah. You could see that he was he saw holding it. himself. Yeah, he was holding holding himself responsible compared to like, yep. like I said last season to this season. He's like, nah, this yeah. is my fault. We lost this game because of me, not because yep. of the this, because of that, because of the, no, we lost yeah. this game because of me. And I, I the respect fumble. that. Yeah, I, I respect yep. that. I give him respect for a hundred, a hundred, a hundred percent of respect. He gained my respect again because I, I was done with him. I, like you guys, the fellas, I was, I was done. done with him. Yeah, you know, you, you as a Jeff fan, you know, you, you got to be I'm done not, with a guy like I'm that. I'm not ready to say he's. Respect. No, I'm he's not, not ready a to savior. Say, but, You're not. He's no, not I'm, savior, I'm not ready to say he. This wasn't like some fluke shit, but mm-hmm. we'll, we'll we'll see though, man. I, for his sake, I do hope, uh, you know that he he has a good fucking game. But I listen. Another thing. Um, give Brees Hall the rock. Let's stop fucking playing around, man. Let's stop playing around. Give Brees Hall the rock. Mm-hmm. Let him fucking carries. get busy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Let him get busy. Let let uh, Michael Carter get busy. Mm-hmm. And the other home, the homeboy, the other dude, yep. man, he's terrible Cook. this year, man. Oh, Dalvin? Dalvin Cook? Yeah, Cook. Dalvin Cook. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Cook, Cook is terrible, man. Let's stop yeah. all this Cook shit. He's having a bad year. I don't know if he's washed. He's having a bad Cook. year. But let Brees Hall get his shit off. That's all I got. Remember, Cook Cook got hurt last year. He was hurt. Yeah. I don't know if he's fully healed. But what did Minnesota know? Yesterday, Sally said he's not he's not handcuffing uh, Hall no more. He's letting him loose. He's fully healed from his ACL. Okay. He said that yesterday, Sally. He's gonna give him touches, more touches to Hall. So he's a beast. I know. Oh, yeah. All I know, all I know, is. all these Asian, all, all these Asian running, back, all these aging running backs, it's not, it's not helping their case to get more bread, man. You know, Saquon is damn near the, the poster child of why they don't get paid because he's hurt. You know, Christian, and what's crazy is that he's, it's, it's, he's definitely number two, healthy. He's number two, probably number one. But it's, it, but Christian McCaffrey's blowing that shit out the water. And when, as soon as you wait, and, and this is why a lot of people are saying maybe, maybe. These running backs start making trades, or these teams start making trades to trade off these running backs. But look, J.K. Dobbins is out. You know, Chubb is out. You know, all these, all these, you know, running backs is getting injured and they're not getting paid. But like, you know, and it sucks. And I, I don't think it fits something in their contract that can help the players' association to work out something, something on the side that they can get paid more, like incentives or some shit. But you know, it is a tough position. But when you're hurt all the time, man, I, I don't know. It's just. It's yeah, just it's, it's just that, and you know these teams after you're like three four years after after four after four years, they're gonna just draft another running back, bro. Yeah, he's right. gonna be quick. He's gonna be quicker. He's gonna be you know what I mean he's gonna hit that. He's gonna hit that hole and fucking get whatever yards he needs. You know. But but Brees Hall, Brees you Hall, see, that dude, Brees Hall's that dude. Yeah. Just right now, like he's he was that dude last year. Like I had him last year. I saw how good he did last year for a couple of games. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, pick him up yeah, on my yeah. fantasy this yeah, year. Look what he did. First game, he had like a hundred plus yards. You know what I mean? Like, if you feed that kid the ball, he's gonna get you yards. Like, you know, yeah. protect that kid, he's gonna yeah. get you fucking yards. But Dalvin, he's just—I was big on Dalvin, but I'm I like, was Yo. too. I wanted him. I wanted him. I'm not, you know, I'm I'm a Jets fan second, but I would definitely mm-hmm. want a Dalvin Cookie. I he's he was balling in Minnesota, yeah, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? But you know, Bree, Brees, you know, I think they brought like we said this earlier. They brought Dalvin here as an insurance policy for, mm-hmm. for Brees Hall. They didn't know mm-hmm. how he was gonna come back off that injury, but he hit the ground running. So let's go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Let's get let's get him the carries. I want to see, you know, 150 yards a game, two tutties, that type type of shit. You feel Word what I'm up. saying? So, Word up. But, I, do, uh, I, do, I do have a question, though. I do have a yeah, question. Yeah. Uh, um, do y'all think Do y'all think there's a possibility Rodgers touches the field this year? That's a good question. What do you think, Al? I'll let you, go. I'll let you get there. No, 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 no. 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 <laughs> he's, he's talking Not, that shit, and, though. And, uh, what? And, and hold on. But for what? What if they if they ain't going nowhere? It doesn't make sense. And if they are going somewhere, why would you? That means Zach is doing good. So why would you? I I would. I don't like that. If if they're doing good, don't fix something that ain't broke. Leave leave Zach where he is. He's earned. He earned to keep you know the number one spot this year if they're doing good. And then and then you're risking a forty year old for re injuring that calf and set him back for next year. Yeah. Uh, he could come on the he could walk around on the sideline a little <laughs> and make sure you know keep keep Zach in place. Yeah, but yeah, he, he, headphones but and a clipboard. That's what, that's what we need him at, Big. Yeah, that's what we yeah. Need him at. keep on keep on doing them handshakes. You know what I mean? I love, I love oh, that. Be up in the booth helping out, helping help out the fucking play callers. 
Yeah, oh, helping out his man. Yo, yo, you can have him, have him like Paul Walker and Varsity yeah. Blues and shit. Yeah. Or whatever, you know? yeah. <laughs> especially, and especially now the weather's gonna get colder. Mm-hmm. That 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 doesn't bode well with these top injuries, yeah. calf injuries and shit like that. Yeah. It's just tighten up, and yeah. this is different. Don't give up on the Giants. The Northeast mm-hmm. weather's coming. Nah, now nah, we gotta get to that Northeast that. football. Let mm-hmm. them let Hill run around yeah. now. It's nice and sunny. We gotta yeah. bring, wait till the Northeast weather come in and bring that Giants football. Yo, that Jets yo, he, 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 he's low key. You know what I mean? Yo, yo, he's low key. He's low key taking shots at me because we were arguing about fucking Miami and 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 hot weather the other day and shit. But uh, <laughs> I yo, fucking yo, hate Miami. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Miami. Yeah, I hate yo, Miami. Like passing, man. <laughs> El, I appreciate you coming. I want to ask you this before before I let you go. Um, prediction for the, for the uh for, for the game this week. Jets by how much? Oh man, I want them. Damn, I want them to at least at least win by fourteen. Please. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't even want them to just win a close game because I'll be discouraged. Absolutely. 28-14. They haven't Ooh, put like up that. 28 points yet this year. Yeah, Do 28 yeah, this year. 14, a nice win, confidence to... booster, and let's keep it going. Yeah. Then, they got, then they got the Eagles after that, right? So that would be great if they get – they got the Eagles after Ooh, that, right? Yeah, 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 they got the Eagles. They got the so, Eagles. So, so that would be a nice Giants. confidence booster going Giants into that game. Up. Yeah, you got the Giants on October 20, I don't know, on October 29. If, if, listen, 29, if, the Jets, yeah. if the Jets win this week, right, I give them a shot. To, to beat the Eagles because Eagles ain't exactly lighting shit up. Yes, their defense is good. Yes, they're the undefeated. Offense, but yeah, the, yeah, the offensive ain't lighting shit up. And Jets right. defense, I I put them up against anybody in the fucking Boy, league, man. They're top, they're top five fucking defense still. You know what I mean? So if Zach gets yeah. going a little bit, you know, you you get all these guys. You get Brees going a little bit. You know, you get you get um what's seventeen? I'm, his name is escaping me. Um, uh, Will, Garrett, um Garrett, yeah, Garrett, Garrett Wilson. Garrett Wilson. Going. Garrett. Yo, yeah. the sky's the limit, man. You get the offensive it's rolling, the to... defense, yeah. It's up, no to Zach and it's up to, the, yeah, it's up to Zach the and the offensive fresh. line. Yeah, keep the defense if the, fresh. If no, Zach no is good, out, yeah. 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 So. If Zach is good and the offensive line is good, yeah, yeah. I, I yeah, give him a shot to be the Eagles. I, I give that shot to you know? him.